Moving to Germany is actually very hectic. You're not just worried about what to pack, what not to pack, but you also wonder, am I carrying enough clothes? Have you packed all the masale? Do you have enough cash? And what about accommodation? Did you find a house yet? There are a lot of things and with the visa tension, it might get too much. That's why in this video, I'm going to break down five essential things which you need to take care of before moving to Germany. Let's start. First, accommodation. This should be your number one priority as soon as you apply or get an admit. Finding accommodation, especially in cities like Munich or Berlin, is a big task and very difficult for international students, but you can do the following things to improve your chances of finding a good house. First, apply for student dorms as soon as you finalize your university. There is a long wait list and the chances that you will get a room are very low, but in case you get it, these are some of the most well-connected and affordable rooms in Germany. Second, start looking for houses on any of these websites which are also closer to your university. In case you find a house which is big enough for three to four people, you can contact students and move in together. Third, join Facebook, WhatsApp or Reddit communities of your university and start looking for rooms in already shared apartments. This might not be incredibly successful, but at least you will be in contact with people from the city which can help you find credible deals. Most importantly, don't pay any amount of money to an unknown stranger before looking at the apartment and reading the contract. You can ask someone from your university or the city to visit the apartment on your behalf and clear all the details out. Accommodation scams are very common, so if something looks too good to be true, it probably is a scam. Second, language prep. I know you are tired of hearing learn German repeatedly, but it is very important. It will not only help you get more opportunities, not just in full-time jobs, but also part-time work, and it is incredibly helpful in your daily life as well. All documents, for example, related to your accommodation, including agreements, contracts, letters from the government, will be in German. You can use translation tools once or twice, but if you are put on the spot, you will make a mistake, or you wouldn't know what to do. If you want to start, there are free resources in the description which will help you get started and there are also faster German bundle links in the description so that you can start now. On the other hand, learning a new language cannot just happen in one day. So while you are at A1 or A2, start learning basic phrases which will help you in daily life. Many universities also offer German language courses for free, even for English taught programs. So check them out as well. Third, cooking skills. This is quite a short section, but if you learn this, you will save a lot of time. When I say cooking, I don't mean one, two, or even five dishes. What I mean is you should learn how to cook efficiently and quickly and also in small portions especially when you are living alone and sharing a kitchen. Grocery shopping also goes hand in hand with cooking so make sure you know all the supermarkets around you like Reve, Aldi, Netto etc. You can also prepare meals in advance, portion them out and refrigerate or freeze them for the rest of the week. This way you will have something ready even on busy days and trust me you're going to have a lot of them. Fourth, financials. There are two main things which I want to talk about in this section, starting with the blocked account and health insurance. The blocked account amount for students has increased to 11,904 euros this year, so you have to put this amount through your blocked account provider. I would also advise that you take your health insurance and travel health insurance through the same blocked account provider to avoid any problems. And if you want help with this, Expatrio is easily one of the best options out there as it provides you a safe, secure and a trustworthy blocked account and its value package comes with a lot of benefits. First, you get the full 69 euros blocked account setup fee returned to you as cashback, free incoming health insurance which is needed for your visa worth up to 95 euros, up to 90 euros of cashback with the TK Flex health insurance, free digital Isaac card which is worth up to 15 euros and a free German bank account for your local banking and instant blocked account payouts and it also works with Apple and Google Pay. And if you're also looking to fund your studies, Expatrio also offers student loans in partnership with ICICI Bank in India. So if you want to open your blocked account with Expatrio, go to the link in description. Secondly, I want to talk about cash. More than half of the German transactions still take place in cash. So if you're coming to Germany for the first time, 
carry some euros. How much? Well, that depends on your financial conditions, but you can carry anywhere between 500 to 600 euros to be on the safer side. Fifth, important documentations. When you're moving to Germany, you need all your important documentations, and I mean all of them. Don't just carry your academic certificates, but also carry your birth certificate, your identification documents, your passport size photos, your medical prescriptions, everything. And without your medical prescriptions, you would have to wait for a doctor's appointment in Germany and repeat the entire process again. Be prepared even for things you might not need right away. If you are confused about what to pack for Germany, we have a comprehensive list which will help you with everything. It's in the description. There might be some things which I have missed in this video, so put them in the comments and it might help other students. And if you have any doubts, put them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.